What is going on, lunatics? Yesterday, I told you I was going to make a short video, and it took 20-something minutes because apparently I've lost my mind. I'm going to speed this up for you guys today, try to get you all the information that you can, and we're going to try to cut these down just a little bit. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you and everyone. Make sure you hit the like button on your way, and uh, let's get after it. All right, guys, number one, $62.8 million was moved from Terraform Labs in Bitcoin amid the final wind down steps. Now, the interesting thing about this is the original information that we got was um, gotcha. And that was uh, Terra wallet with uh, attached to Duquan. Every Terraform lab wallet is attached to Duquan. That starts rampant speculation that maybe he's got a whole bunch of money, stuff like that. I found myself engaging in that conversation on X earlier as I looked through it. And I'm like, how do we even know that it's really Duquan? We, we don't really know that. That could just be part of the process here. They're moving the, the Bitcoin around because they have, uh, they have a fine to pay and stuff like that. So I, I don't know if that was really anything. So here, on August 27, Bankrupt Terraform Lab announces plan to initiate Proposal 4818, which is going to upgrade Luna for, you know, whatever period of time. But in the meantime, this transaction happens um, and it, it moved to a new address. Uh, the firm has yet to comment publicly on the transfer. Market analysis notes that it aligns with Terraform Lab's plan to wind down operations following its record settlement with the SEC. Look, they can't do anything with that money other than pay the SEC. They're done. So I'm not really worried about the, the fact that the money is moving, but it did create some kind of a uh, discussion, if you will. So um, I wouldn't worry about it, but there it is for you. Now, uh, back to this. We were talking about this the last couple of days, uh, and specifically over really Jesus' lore, but now Rex Wise, he gets brought in to the mix here from Peng562, uh, who's wanting to put up a, a, a proposal to um, tombstone anybody who has violated his idea of the integrity of the ecosystem. So um, it, it's a little bit odd. I don't think it goes through. I don't think it passes, but he wants to put it up for governance. I mean, go ahead and put it up for governance and let's see what everybody votes. Um, I, I would I would suspect there's going to be a lot of no to it. Uh, then I would suspect that there's also going to be a few yeses uh, because there are some salty type people who just, they don't want validated. Look, everybody has their own idea of... Um, you know, what they think it should be. But the rules are the rules. And if there's no rule that says you cannot have, then the spirit doesn't matter. What it says is what matters. So uh, I don't think it goes anywhere. But according to that, that's what's going to happen. Also, um, there's also LVS nodes. Let's put this up here. Uh, create collateral or backing pool. This is the repeg bounty has led to renewed v hype and attention on USTC. Um, now, I don't think that's really the case. I think that's just led to conversation about USTC. I don't know that there's any any hype involved in it, but I get what he's saying. So um, this is a discussion uh, for you guys to, I mean, go, go ahead and read and, and look at, uh, see, see what it is that uh, he thinks. This signal proposal aims to gauge the community and validate their mindset on the development of such a tool. And this is a collateral pool, uh, is meant to serve as an additional tool for any team attempting to repeg. So there is uh, something here as an opportunity for people to springboard into it. And there's discussions about this all the time, just haven't really seen anything manifest itself. So, uh, but we can't do anything until tax to gas is implemented. Still waiting on that one. So uh, just bear that in mind. And we're going to move on. As far as the meme coins go, uh, meme coins seem to be doing pretty well today. Um, uh, you know, not not incredible because the market really dipped a lot. So, you know, you're, you're experiencing a little bit of up, a little bit of down and uh, some sideways action. Uh, Rocket had a very successful launch. We'll get into that when we talk about Terraport, which, by the way, uh, you have uh, 3064963. Six, but look at this. This spiked all the way up here to, uh, on this candle right here, uh, four zeros two. That was a big, big launch over here. I mean, I'm sorry, two zeros two. So there was a very big launch here. And then, of course, there was a dump because there was a uh, uh, an airdrop, if you will. And then, of course, we started to see a nice little move here. And the volume... 24-hour uh, volume, 102,000 for Rocket. That's a that's a fantastic number. Really good to see uh, that type of activity going on over here. So uh, shout out to Team Rocket. And uh, uh, if you got some of the airdrop or something like that, you might have been one of the sellers over here uh, taking profit along the way. But congratulations. Now let's get that tower defense game out so we can start playing the thing. But back over here, uh, you can see there's still green in the market, but... 
we're still getting weighed down by the overall and broader market. Now, there's also a proposal that came up uh, to increase maximum validators to 110. And if you click on it, that's really just what it says. Um, and you've got yes from quite a few people over here so far. Uh, Moonrunner, no. Then you've got no, no with veto. But early on, you've got 98% yes to increase the number of validators, which would be, a, I think, a, a pretty decent opportunity for somebody in it. To, to, to make some kind of uh, play here to get in and maybe dilute some of these higher powers. And remember, you know, guys, I, I had somebody comment today yesterday on, on my bug up mine for all nodes. And I mean, you know, they have too much power and we seem to be just allowing it while fighting with other people. Like I just said with Rex YZ, Jesus is Lord. Um, so, I mean, whatever. But um, if you don't, <clears throat> if, if people are not voting in your conscience or if you're not getting the votes that, the way that you think that don't validate with those people. If they do, continue to validate with them. Your choice. So uh, anyway, so we got that governance proposal up. Let's talk price action right here. Now, the broader market really, really dumped super hard last night. It dumped down about 50 some odd billion dollars before correcting back towards that upside. Now, when I zoom in over here, I'm going to tell you that exactly what I tell you is going to happen ex is exactly what happened. Yesterday, I brought out the FIB tool to show you what it looks like and what did we get? We got to move down here into the gold uh, into the gold zone right here. So we see that clearly happening right there. Uh, bounces off of that little bottom. And then what happens? It immediately snaps back up. A little bit lower than the day before, but... Uh, I think we're consolidating for a move. The question really is, do buyers step in? There's really no motivator, no prime motivator at this point for people to step in. The reason for that fear and greed index is sitting at about 20 right now. It's not very good, very, very low. Um, people are shaken in the market. And look, people are shaken in the market while Bitcoin's sitting at 56,000. So are they really shaken? Nah, not really, but you know, we, we do have to deal with the downward momentum until we get retail kind of coming back in. Now, I told you guys before what I would think would happen over here. If you guys remember, we had this conversation. I said, you know, the way this is breaking out, I don't see this coming up. I would like to see it go up, but, you know, it could be coming down because this is coming off of this big move. And what did we get? We got downward momentum. Now, that's part of the broader market. That's not just this uh, that's not just this thing happening right here. So uh, the question is, what's going to happen next? I would suspect that we're going to see coming out of this golden uh, zone right here over the next couple of days, a move up to 8,000 and then probably a move up to 95. I think that 9,000 range that I was giving you before, I think we're just going to blow through that, if you will. So uh, that's what I would think is going to happen. Now on USTC, uh, you can see here that USTC not holding up as well. We're still getting a lot of dip, uh, dippity dip, dip, dip down here. Um, so, you know, things are not great over there on USTC side. But somebody just said there was renewed interest in USTC. Uh, I don't see it. Like I, I, I don't see it yet. So uh, we shall see what happens. But again, this is a broader market causing a little uh, push down in price. Uh, you can see that right here. Uh, so we have uh, trading volume up to 17 million, but price action down because the people who are trading are the ones that are selling and that's causing that, that pressure. Uh, same thing over here, up 110% off of a very low number 24 hours ago, but again, down 4.5% on the day, just a big, big, big dip. Now, uh, let's move on here. Uh, remember, we got Rocket out here doing its thing. Uh, again, trading volume over 100,000 in 24 hours, great number. Uh, if you want to, then I would suggest you go into the Terra C Vita community and that's uh, Terra C Vita community uh, to talk about Rocket. Uh, as far as lunk burn, stuff like that goes, uh, I'm going through here for the news and stuff like that. Don't really see anything that's really causing. Guys, we're in accumulation phase and cryptonomy.finance is the place for you to go in order to stake. You guys have seen what I've staked so far. So what I'm going to do is I have 10,000 XRP, six months. Again, wondering what the bull phrase is going to look like. 32% yield off of that. So off of 10,000 XRP, I should have 13,246 XRP when I'm done minus fees. Boom. We're ready for the bull run. We're going 20,000 into the bronze level. All right, we got $20,000 into this pool. We're in the bronze pool right now. You can see the details of what I've done so far, uh, how much I've earned off of it. Uh, my earnings have been just exponential. Why have they been exponential, you might ask yourself? Well, these guys are 
investing into each one of these launches and look at some of the results that they're getting. They're they're picking and choosing the best launches. ZK Sync 4.5X, uh, Ethora 5. 3.5x, Sharp Psi 3.5x, Coin Pays 4.7x. The, they're looking for real solid projects to invest in, and then they're getting this big yield out of it. So if you want to sign up at cryptonomy.finance today, and remember, this bull run is coming. Don't miss out. We'll talk to you again very soon. Concern, but there was one thing that kind of stuck out, and that was this. So this is a transaction. Um, uh, you know what this is from Arkham Intelligence. This tells you uh, uh, what this wallet is doing so that you get an idea of where things are and where they're coming from. And these ones with the squares over here, they're kind of labeled for you so that you know where these things are coming from. Now, this ultimately, here's what's going on. This wallet is presumably, and you can see here by the label, an unknown CE egg. Um, also, it has over 18 billion Luna Classic. Now, when we start to look at this, uh, we look over and we see there's a, a small balance. Do we see a small balance? We see a small balance, but we see right here the Binance. This is a Binance Genesis send out. This one is a Binance wallet. Uh, this one is a Binance hot wallet. Uh, and, and going around CoinSpot, Crypto.com, Crypto.com, CoinIn. So this is probably some kind of centralized exchanges wallet, most likely associated with Binance. We just don't know about it at this point. But it's got 18 billion Luna Classics sitting in it right now. Just moved. The reason that we're having this conversation is because it just moved six billion tokens into this wallet which was a that's a big that's a big transfer so um what is this uh, you know it could be a whale accumulating getting ready for the bull run could be uh, a centralized exchange it could be anything but there was a big transfer so just letting you guys know that that did happen now as far as burn go uh, 1.47 billion over the last seven days remember uh 1.2 billion of that was 1.198 anyway was binance uh big number there but uh, you can see here, just because of the, the low amount, we're not really getting a, a huge lift off of those burns. Uh, we do have massive burns coming from Terraform Labs, in my opinion, and uh, the Luna Foundation Guard. And by the way, uh, Happy Candy Crypto, I should point out here, Happy Candy Crypto had a discussion with you guys about the potential here that Luna Foundation Guard could, you know, maybe they're not in, involved. But when you look at the court documents, it occurs to me that Luna Foundation Guard is included and implied to be included in the burn process and the burning of the keys and everything that goes on there. So it looks like, and their sole purpose, by the way, was to uh, repeg USTC, et cetera, et cetera. So why are they holding on to an enormous supply? Well, I think that they're going to end up being massive burns. It's going to be incredibly bullish for USTC. I would recommend highly, despite that I'm telling you right now that I don't think that there's you know too much going on there, I would highly recommend at this point um, holding on to some USTC because I think that's the one that's really going to burn because I believe there's something close to 2 billion tokens that are being held by that um, by those Luna Foundation wallets or somewhere near and in that neighborhood. And out of that, remember, there's only 5 billion currently in circulation. A little, well, there's a little under 6 billion, 5.8 billion. But you remove that, you're down to 3.8 billion. What does that do for the price action at 89? Uh, well, if you're re reducing by a third, roughly, then the price is going to go up. 33% from where it is right now, which is going to put it at about 17 cents. So that's a nice little lift for, uh, you know, for, for a short period of time here. Um, and actually, once I start to do the math on that, that's actually not right. That actually would be uh, two cents. So that would be a pretty big move. And if FOMO builds up, then, you know, people are going to see, oh my God, it's two cents. Here we go. Uh, and, you know, you could get a run up to three or four or five cents. And by the way, when I say that, you come back over here and you look at, you know, this long term sort of uh, trend over here. And, and you can see here that, you know, we're going to have to have a test somewhere near the top again. Remember, this has been happening for a long period of time. And it's about time that we come up here and test six cents again. So uh, I would suspect that something like this over the next little while is going to cause a big spike over here. By the way, changed everything to purple. Uh, so... I would estimate that, you know, USTC, you would not be 
um, foolish to be holding on to some USTC right now. Anyway, uh, let's move on and let's talk Terra Casino. If you're doing some risk-based gaming, this is the place that you got to be in order to do it. Uh, blackjack, roulette, poker, uh, dice, mines, sports, wagering. And by the way, NFL starts, college football just started. Guys, it's easy. Uh, all you have to do is cover your spreads here and you can be making a ton. And also, not just that, Counter-Strike Go, League of Legends. Guys, it's foolish at this point. If you're not using your Luna, at least, uh, to do this, but you can use Luna Classic, Luna, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygonmatic, Litecoin, Link, um, uh, USDT, USDC, Dogecoin. There's so many different options for you uh, to use, and it's compatible with MetaMask, uh, Trust Wallet, Station Wallet, whatever you want to use. Okay, so <clears throat> I would definitely recommend that you use that. Also, uh, don't forget to come over here to Terraport. Start trading today. Hundred and something thousand dollars worth of trading on Rocket, guys. You don't even see that on some of these other uh, big big cryptos. And look at the trade volume over here. Twenty six thousand on Terra today. Twelve thousand on Juris. Um, and if you want to do some some staking right here, APR right now, 314% uh, for Rocket. Uh, Terra, 33.95. Like you get some big deals over here. So, um, and if you want to earn, then this is the place to go. Uh, come earn. I've got an unlock here, I, you know, waiting for the, the full unlock before I do anything else. Um, but this is also sold out. So last call for Palcohol, if you will. Uh, you got a 14-day staking and that is the only thing left right now. Now I'll be unstaked in two months and you know we'll see about it at, at that point whether we can get into one of these and get a, a better deal, better ratio, if you will. Uh, but uh, there it is. So that's it, guys. Uh, 6 million Luna Classic transferred. See Two million in Bitcoin moved around by Terraform Labs. Things are coming to a head right now. I think we're going to look at a spike coming very, very soon. Um, you know, I, I say that all the time because I am bullish about the the project, um, and you know, sometimes it underscores the 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 pressing down of the market. But I think we're going to get a lot better in that uh, going forward. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.